Lynn here, hope you're having a fantastic day. Now today I'm going to be pollinating my Venus flytrap. Now I did a video a couple of days ago of it in flower and today I'm going to be uh, pollinating it which is all fun. Now Venus flytraps are self-pollinating which means you don't have to have two different plants of the same variety to cross-pollinate them with for seed. They pollinate themselves. Now you can cross-pollinate them as well um, some people do that and that's how they get many sort of hybrids. These are my, um, I have some other Venus flytraps as well, um, different types that have all been hybridised over the years by um, different types of growers, obviously. But this is the, the main the sort of basic Venus flytrap, but the, proper, the pollination is exactly the same with all of them. And all you need to do is, when the flowers open, it's best to leave it for at least two days before you have a go at pollinating them. And the reason for that is because they have the little stigma um, which comes out of, in, in the middle of the very, very flower, is more receptive after a, a day or two than when it first opens. When it first opens, the stigma stays a bit closed and it's harder to pollinate it. So it's much more receptive to leave it a couple of days, as in this case, this flower is a couple of days old now and the um, stigma has opened up. It goes, it's best way to go is a little tiny little bit fluffy at the top and that's when it's going to be more receptive to the pollen. So all you need to do is get a really clean brush, a tiny little brush like this. You can also use a Q-tip as well if you prefer, cotton wool bud or any type of tiny brush um, as long as it's clean and you're only using it for this purpose and then what you need to do is this tiny, they're very 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 small on Venus flytraps tiny little bit of pollen that's going around on the edges of the filaments put that onto the brush and then put that onto the stigma so let's get going shall we now what we need to do here, you can hold the tiny flower as well load up the little brush like so like that, probably because the, the, the pollen is so small you're not really going to see it and then dab it onto the, the stigma like so now as with everything um, it's always uh, luck whether it's going to take or not see the pollen on top of that stigma and then brush it on like so and I'm going to be doing this with all of these flowers as well when they open and what I'll do is I'll do an update video on how it does in the uh, coming weeks and then what you do then is once you've got the pollen onto that stigma, like I've done, the flowers over the next few weeks will eventually turn black and die off. And then once you cut the, flower, the, the flowers and the whole stem black, you cut them off, then you, you rub it between the fingers and you, then you'll see whether it's been a success or not and it produces seeds. Now if it produces seeds, they're tiny little black seeds and then obviously they're ready to... Uh, to sow and to get tiny Venus fly traps, which apparently can take, once you've, you've sowed the seed, can take anything from two weeks to three months to germinate, so they're not a fast growing thing, and obviously it's not something that's going to be uh, going to be easy to do. Now, if this is a success, obviously I'm going to be sowing the seeds, and I'll do a separate video at a later date on how to sow the seeds, which is going to be really fun. And uh, I just wanted to show you how to pollinate your Venus flytrap if it's flowering, guys. So there you go, everybody, and I'll do an update. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness and tons and tons of happy growing, as always, from Ireland. And until the next video.